course, we are in severe weather season right now in Metro Atlanta and Georgia, and we're about six weeks away from hurricane season. But the folks said and the forecasters at Colorado State University are looking ahead as to what we could expect. Melissa Nord is breaking down the latest numbers. In their seasonal outlook, they're calling for slightly below average activity in the Atlantic. They're calling for 13 named storms, six hurricanes, two of which being major hurricanes. You notice there that's just below our climatological average of three major hurricanes being category three or more. So what's driving the forecast? Well, they look at a lot of components of temperatures of the ocean and wind shear, but the driver behind the seasonal outlook is the El Nino Southern Oscillation. Now, this is something where we look at the ocean surface temperatures in the equatorial Pacific, so the eastern Pacific Ocean, and see if they're near normal, above normal, or colder than normal. Right now they're near normal, but we expect an El Nino to develop where they're above normal, and this will last into the summer. That favors more wind shear that can disrupt the growth of hurricanes that normally have this type of shape, while that wind shear can throw these hurricanes off and limit how much they grow. Regardless, it only takes one storm to make it a bad year. They're calling for a 44% chance there could be a major hurricane make landfall along the U.S. coastline. Hurricane season starts June 1st and peaks early September. Yeah, Melissa, exactly right. Just because it may be a little bit below the average, don't let your guard down. It only takes one, as she said, to, uh, to cause some damage there. So